Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a clean with me video. I know we are supposed to be diving into major decluttering every area of this house, but first I want to show you all of the spaces that need to be decluttered and which rooms we're going to be really diving into. My house looks like a tornado has just went through it because I've been sick the past few days, which is why I may sound slightly congested. So my house has definitely been neglected. And so we're gonna be diving into really cleaning it up. It's really bad actually. <laughs> kitchen's all clean I wish you guys could really see how dirty um, my floor is all the dirt 
it's super muddy in here. And I will have to show you guys why my house is so muddy. Because just outside my back door has been a construction zone for like the past week. We have been installing a French drain in the back of our yard and it wraps around the house and it's just been, it's just been a mess and I need to get the water hose and clean all this off so that way that my house won't be getting so dirty. Look, there's a good, there's a good view of how dirty it is. Now it's time to clean this floor. So some of you who have been around for a while on my YouTube channel know that the last time I was making YouTube videos, I was struggling a lot with um, like losing weight and all of that kind of stuff. And so since those videos have been made, I started going to a functional medicine doctor and really just diving deeper into my health, trying to figure out just why I wasn't losing any weight. I would be working out and eating right and all of these things. And so I found out quite a few things which was preventing me from being able to lose weight. First of all, I have many food sensitivities. Most of them are low and some of them are like medium. Luckily, I don't have any high sensitivity foods. That was causing a lot of inflammation in my body. And then I found out that I have MTHFR. I tested positive for one of the strands. So I found out a few of those things. And since then I've been working on making sure that I'm filling my body with clean whole foods and minimal ingredients in like processed foods. If I do choose to eat any of those, just making sure I'm still drinking my water. And right now I'm taking quite a few supplements because of some of the things that I have going on and some of the stuff that I'm uh, healing my gut. And like, there's so many different things. And before, like I seriously felt so swollen. Like it was like, it didn't matter what I did. I would just feel like I was just very swollen all the time. And I, my joints would be super achy and I didn't always feel very strong. I would be pretty tired most of the time. My mental state was like not good at the time. And since finding all of these things out and adding in these supplements that I'm supposed to be taking, which some of these I won't always be taking, there's different things that I have going on. But since then, my mindset is like way better. Plus I usually work out about five days a week and I'm really trying to focus on just filling my body with healthy, clean foods and avoiding the foods that I'm sensitive to and it's made a world of difference. Just wanted to share that little tidbit with you guys because I know in my past videos when I was going through my closet and cleaning out my clothes and I had made comments about, you know, just, well, this doesn't fit me anymore. Well, I've put on like this much weight and now I know why. So moving forward from here on out. So. kitchen is clean and vacuumed and mopped and wiped down I'm gonna show you the rest of the house and I'm gonna show you all the spaces that I am going to be diving deeply into and decluttering before I show you around I am going to finally spill the beans per se <laughs> last video I told you guys that we are doing some major decluttering and I told you that you would find out why in this video. Are you ready? Drum roll. We are planning on selling our house, but not just selling our house. We are planning on moving into a class B camper van. My husband travels for work. We really miss him, but he really loves his job. We've talked about selling this house many times we finally decided that that is what we are gonna do. We homeschool anyway, so it's not gonna interfere with the kids like 
schooling or anything like that and we're just gonna take the time to go and travel with him for a while and um, like be in the hotel with him and stay at campgrounds and do all of that kind of fun stuff this is honestly what we have wanted to do for many years now and it just never worked out that way but now he has a job that sets us up to be able to do those things my plan <laughs> And you guys are gonna get to come along and see how all of this plays out. But my plan is that I am downsizing everything and decluttering everything in this house that way that it fits into 10 to 15 totes. We have a lot of stuff. Now we don't have a lot of furniture because we've just never had a lot of furniture. And the furniture we have, none of it matches. I still don't have a full set of dining room chairs. And we've lived here for three years maybe <laughs> we just never got them I don't know we did have a few more chairs and then they kind of broke and so we have a lot of like little tedious stuff I'm gonna be taking the next probably from now until the end of spring to really dive into decluttering everything in this house and I'm gonna show you the totes that I'm gonna put it all in and I'm gonna show you the places that we're gonna declutter let's go First, let's just take a moment to just take note of this beautiful clean kitchen. And then now let's take note of the disaster that lives over here. <laughs> this is gonna get cleaned up, which mostly this is school stuff. This is just where we do our school. The chairs have gotten moved because we were playing some games last night and there's like dog hair and toys and muddy shoes. There's so many things over here. But this main area in the corner over here is one of the spaces that I am deeply diving into because we're obviously, we're not gonna need these desks whenever we live in a van or any of this other furniture. And I don't know exactly how we're gonna do the toys and the Legos and all of that my kids love Legos so they're gonna have to end up in the van somehow but this is one space that will be majorly decluttered and then we, we won't be taking any of this except for maybe those two weights but I won't be taking my plants and we'll be getting rid of all of this some stuff we will probably put in a storage unit if I can get the totes in a like 10 and under then my sister might let me store them at her house in her basement but if it's going to be greater than 10 and if there's going to be other bigger objects that we are wanting to hang on to probably going to rent a small storage shed and just keep the stuff in there that you know we want to keep let's move on to the rest of the house all right next we have our bedroom which honestly I just need to put my laundry away but these nightstands are gonna be majorly decluttered and the closet are clothes. We're gonna be downsizing so many clothes and some of you may notice and some of you who are new here will not, but the last time you guys saw the inside of my closet, there wasn't all of this racks and shelving and stuff. We have gone through every closet in the house and put those in and it's just made the world of difference. It's just everything's still a little cluttered. There's stuff that goes this way and there's stuff that goes that way. Obviously, I'm going to be going through the bathroom and just, you know, diving into all of this mess down here medicine cabinet and all the things the boys room will also get decluttered but they're in there playing so I'm not gonna go in there right now but I am about to show you our spare room which in my past videos was the room that held all of our junk basically and honestly it still does but it looks quite quite a bit different so let me show you the first thing that you'll notice is the beautiful plywood floor <laughs> and it still holds junk especially over here this honestly a lot of this is school stuff and Lego sets that we just need 
wanted to get shelves to display them and we never did. The reason that this room has a plywood floor was because a lot of water was getting in underneath our house, which currently we are fixing, and it was causing our floors to become really uneven. And apparently in this room, we did not know before we bought this home, that there was termite damage under the floor in this space. Everything, like there was a beam that, like the main support beam between here and the bathroom, was rotted and it just the floor was falling in and it was just, it was not good. So we ripped everything out and started fixing everything and so that is why there is plywood floor here. These walls have also not been painted. I don't know if you guys have noticed that there is a new color in almost the whole entire house except for this room and the bathroom. This glorious bathroom. No, this bathroom I have hated this bathroom ever since we bought this house and it's given us the most problems out of all of the rooms in our home. But this bathroom is probably what I'm most excited about redoing in this house before we sell. We are gutting this whole entire bathroom and it's going to be glorious because it's just... I hate the layout of this bathroom. This doesn't make sense to me. Like you have this tiny little walk space to get through and the bathtub is just, there's so many things. But we will be getting this whole thing and I we are going to rearrange the layout of this bathroom. And the bathtub will be moved against this wall and then it'll be toilet and then vanity. And it's just gonna look like a whole new space. And I can't wait to make this happen. Now some other spaces in the home that will be also deeply decluttered is junk drawers. One, two, three, messy junk cabinets, which it's half of where we keep our games, but there's just so much stuff in there. And this cabinet where I keep my supplements but then just stuff like that I don't need. So I'm gonna be taking the time to go through every single piece of my house, downsizing everything, getting rid of so many things from now until spring. So now that you've seen every room and all the spaces that I'm gonna be decluttering, there is a little bit in the laundry room, but it's not, not like all the other things that I've showed you. So comment below the room that you want me to do first and that will be in the next video. Time to go get the boys some lunch. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. I'll see you guys next time. Oh,